Let us look at the Hervik's alpha criteria for the decision making process under uncertainty. The maximin and the maximax criteria are the two extremes on the scale of optimism. Maximin represents pessimism while maximax represents optimism. Hervix introduced a coefficient of optimism called alpha which can be used by the decision maker to define the degree of optimism. So alpha is the coefficient of optimism. If alpha equal to zero, that represents extreme pessimism. If alpha equal to one, it represents extreme optimism. And if alpha is equal to 0.5, that represents neutralism. Hence, in this criteria, setting the value of alpha is key to the final decision. There are four steps in the Hervix criteria. First is to determine the largest payoff. Let's represent this as capital M I. And the smallest payoff Let's consider this as small m i. These two are determined for each of the strategies. Second step is to estimate the value of alpha. Third is to calculate the expected value for each strategy using the formula expected value is equal to alpha multiplied by the largest payoff that is capital M I plus 1 minus alpha multiplied by the smallest payoff which is small m i and the fourth step is to select the strategy with highest expected value as the optimal solution. Let us look at an example to understand this in detail. A manufacturer of laptops is faced with the problem of selecting one of the two models to be manufactured. The profit depends on the market acceptability of the model which at present is uncertain but it has been broadly classified into four categories excellent, good, fair and poor. The profits or losses expected by the management from the different levels of market acceptability of the models is given in a tabular format. So in the table, you can see the market acceptability is listed as excellent, good, fair and poor. And the profit for each of the models has also been listed against each of the market acceptability. So if the market acceptability is excellent, then model A can generate a profit of 60,000 rupees, while model B can generate a profit of 78,000 rupees. If the market acceptability is good, then model A can generate a profit of 28,000 rupees, while model B can generate a profit of 30,000 rupees. The question is, which model should the company select? In this case, the probabilities of market acceptability being excellent, good, fair or poor 
has not been provided and this is the unknown which makes this a case of decision making under uncertainty. Let us now look at how we can solve this case using the Hervix alpha criteria. Let us assume that alpha is equal to 0 0.7 for this case. Now let us build the payoff matrix. So we have strategy is the model A and B and we have max that is capital M I and min which is small m i. So for A maximum is 60,000 and minimum is 8,000. For B maximum is 78,000 and minimum is minus 12,000. Now let us calculate the expected value for each of the cases which is mi multiplied by alpha plus 1 minus alpha multiplied by small mi. So for a alpha is 0 0.7 multiplied by 60,000 plus 0 0.3 multiplied by 8,000 equals to 42,000 plus 2400 is equal to 44,400 and for P 0.7 multiplied by 78,000 plus 0.3 multiplied by minus 12 thousand equals to fifty four thousand six hundred minus thirty six hundred equals to fifty one thousand. So for A our E V is forty four thousand four hundred and for B it is fifty one thousand. So based on the Hervix alpha criteria, since the expected value of model B is higher than model A, we'll choose model B as the final solution.